All right, guys, today I want to show you a project that we're going to do, and this is just kind of a, a space that we've used back here. You might be able to tell this is a long, narrow bed here and then another one over here. Then these kind of been pieced together at different times for different reasons. And we've grown some arborvitas back here and some other plants, but we want to transform this area into a much more usable space. And this entire area here, really from that little shade tunnel there all the way back here to where I'm standing, it's about 20 feet this way by about 12 feet this way. Those are rough numbers, but I think we can get a lot better use out of this space. If we take all of this out of here, these old timbers are rotten and they need to come out of here anyway. If we take all of this out of here and try to level this a little bit, it doesn't have to be perfect, and we're going to cover it with ground cover, just like all this other black that you see out here in our nursery. And turn this into a space that we think we can get more plants in and that's just a much better overall use of our space. So today uh, we're going to work on that and I want you to come along with us and just kind of see how we do this and just kind of want you also want you to see if you've got an area that's overgrown or it even doesn't have to be perfectly level or flat that you can still turn it into very useful space. So that's what we're going to do, to do today. So uh, come along with us and I'll show you what we're going to do. That is rotten and look at there. These big nails still in here from when we put all this together. This has been here for probably, I don't know, maybe six or seven years. So, yeah, that's a kind of a mess. Um, that's what all this is. It's just rotten and there's probably termites and who knows what in there. So, yeah, we're just going to clean this out and you'll see how this goes. Let's see if this one's the same way on this side. If this second. No, it's not as bad. So, we'll have to do something else to get it out. This old rotten wood's just tearing up. It's not even doing anything. You know, tearing these old landscape timbers out, which is all this is, you know, it makes you, it makes you think twice about ever using something like this in the first place to build you know, to build a raised bed with, to build a garden bed of any kind, whether you're talking, you know, in a nursery or you're talking out in front of your house or whatever, they just, yeah, they last for a few years, but they always wind up rotten, you know. So if you can ever think of a way to build a raised bed that doesn't require using wood, I highly recommend doing it. Use some kind of brick, some kind of stone, or, you know, don't use any border at all. Just whatever you can think of, but... It's kind of a pain dealing with rotten wood. So we've gotten the old timbers out of here. We got some old bricks out of here that we kind of threw in as part of the borders back years ago when we did this. And now we've just kind of got this area left and it's got, you know, where we tore the timbers up, the ground is, you know, it's got these holes in it, these trenches in it where the timbers have just sunk into the, the dirt over the years, three, four inches deep in places. So I'm gonna grab the tiller and just come through here and I'm not really going to till this in. That's not the intention. It's just to kind of level off some of that a little bit. So the ground cover will lay a little bit more level on the ground. So we'll grab the tiller and give that a go. Right, 
guys so maybe y'all can see that that is relatively level now again doesn't have to be perfect we're not building a house on this we're growing plants on it I just took a tiller and busted up the high spots and then just raked it out kind of scattered the high dirt around really simple not a lot of work this whole thing's taken us about 30 minutes so far and in just a minute here we'll be ready to lay down our ground cloth all right guys so i've ran over this area with the tiller it's pretty good and we're going to grab this ground cloth here and put it out and to be honest i'm not exactly sure what size this is i think it's 15 feet wide that's the factory width of it but length and width i don't really know oh, yeah you're doing right i'll let you just pull that okay yeah i don't either let's just take this okay. and go this way and let's just see where we end up and we'll we'll kind of straighten it out yeah yeah that's gonna be good just go towards that fence as far as you can okay. without you know getting all up in that stuff and it'll be fine i think See, our blackberries are going nuts back here. So, that's the price you pay for planting two blackberry plants. Listen, these triple crown blackberries I always talk about, I don't know how good you guys can see this on the camera, but I planted two blackberry bushes that were about this tall on this fence right here, early 2019, or 19 or 20 anyway they've grown to this this is probably 30 feet 25 or 30 feet wide we propagate all our blackberries off this so they're kind of growing crazy here so we're, anyway we're going to keep the ground cloth close to them without hopefully without them getting taken over by the ground cloth this looks like it's about 15 by 15 we got a few feet that won't be covered on that end but that's okay we can keep that beat down with the weed eater and i think this is going to cover us really well here and this this whole area here will be completely 100 percent weed free as far as anything on the ground is concerned and this will all settle down really nicely we'll take some little tacks and tack this down so it won't blow and by the time you put your plants on it this will be a great place for growing container plants way better and way more capacity than we had with the growing beds all right so kind of starting over here on this corner of this cloth that we laid down and to lay this down you just take the edge of it because it's frayed and you know that kind of can get tangled up and stuff and just fold you a couple of inches of it underneath there take these little sod staples i think they're called landscape staples sod staples whatever they're called and these particular ones that i'm using are really dinky you need something heavier than these but these are what we could find and i think for you know i'm just messing them up let's see if i can do better than that they're just bending let's see if we can maybe hitting a, a root or it may just be pilot error anyway you just put those about every three or four feet you don't have to put a ton of these in here to hold this like by the time you by the time you put pots on this you're gonna have plenty of weight and plenty to hold this in place without having to worry about putting a thousand of these things in there so pretty simple Unless you uh, lost my hammer. Pretty simple deal to do. These are just really just little pieces of wire folded into kind of a U shape and you just hammer them down. Not much to it. All right, and we got this cloth put down and we set some plants out here and these will just stay here until we're ready to sell them. In fact, these are silver dollar hydrangeas. They'll be ready to sell in probably a month, if not less. But what I wanted to show you today was how well this ground cloth transforms a space so you just water right on top of these this is not plastic water goes right through this cloth so it's not plastic but yet weeds won't grow up through it i don't really know how it works it's a woven material it's great stuff but anyway great way for you to transform a space that's kind of useless into something that is useful and we can completely pack every inch of this with plants so glad to have the space it's a really nice addition to our backyard nursery all right, guys, so I hope this has been helpful to y'all. Uh, really, I appreciate y'all coming every week, watching my videos and hanging in here with my channel, subscribing with my channel. Uh, you guys are really a blessing to us. We love y'all. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.